What word do preachers striving to be faithful to their calling? Uh, maybe in the context of working preacher, I would say uh, you, you get you a community of preachers. Um, I remember as a young preacher, the thing that really got me was that preaching can be a very lonely task. And so many of the models that you get in school for like good thinking are, you know, go off by yourself to the library and then think. I remember talking to uh, one of our rabbis at Duke, a young man who just gotten out of Jewish Theological Seminary in New York, and I asked him, uh, what do you miss most uh, about school or something? He said, well, I don't miss school till I read scripture. And you know, you, you can't read scripture by yourself if you're a Jew. It takes two Jews to read scripture, minimum. And I said, really? And he said, you gotta have one Jew to read and the other to argue uh, with uh, that, that Jew's interpretations. And, and I thought as a preacher, um, I, I think I've done my best preaching when I've been in a group, a lectionary study group. Well now through the wonders of technology and working preacher, I can have a community of preachers. And I love that experience. I've got my iPod and uh, I've got some favorite places that I go to, including working preacher that enable me the luxury of being with some other colleagues struggling with the text, of, of uh, to be surprised by other colleagues that from a different uh, church family, the way they come at the text is just really invigorating. One of the, it used to be as a preacher, you never heard anybody else preach and you would just find yourself hungry to hear somebody else try it and to sit back and say, wow, that worked, or hmm, let's see, when did she fall off the wagon, on what, at what point in the sermon? Uh, so I, I think uh, preaching should never be done solo. It's, uh, it's a community product. It is, scripture arises from the community, preaching arises from that and goes back to it uh, as God's word.